Alright. Uh, if you're not making shots like that, then you're not playing a sniper correctly. At least not in my opinion, but, uh, this is my, uh, sniping guide, so... Ah, uh, the first step is obviously when you start the match to get to the point that you'll be, uh, suppressing. So, uh, let's get over there. I am heading to uh, one of my favorite spots in this map to shoot from, especially when you start out capping A. Enemy now this isn't this isn't a guide for sniping in Omen. This is a guide for uh, just sniping in general. So uh, I'll make my way over here. And I'm heading to. the bombed out city, the bombed out uh, town right here. There's, now, when you get to the spot where you're sniping from, if you have enough claymores, you want to set up a perimeter so people don't sneak up on you. Now, even if they have the claymore tripwire thing, it'll still go off eventually. second important thing to do is know where you're going to be shooting at, what points uh, enemy has captured, and that's where you want to focus your fire at. And right here you can see I don't have too many targets at the moment. Not percenting themselves anyway. But you definitely want to check for spots where snipers hang out, because you don't want to end up getting sniped yourself. So on this map, you want to check the top floor of the building in front of you. You want to check the AA guns. You want to check the top of the uh, hotel. And you want to check the hill to your right. Now, to uh, sight yourself in and to get the distance down. You'll notice that the AA guns and the uh, and the tow missiles are great for uh, getting your uh, sight down and getting your range down, because people are completely stationary in those, so it'll give you plenty of time and plenty of shots to get yourself uh, lined up, and you just keep adjusting. If you keep missing, keep adjusting aiming upward because the bullet will drop into the target and once you hit that first bullet then you know that that's how far away how high up you need to aim to hit the target now it's more difficult when they start moving around obviously so that's why you want to use uh, AA guns and tow missiles to get your range down. Once you get your range down, then you'll be able to hit uh, stuff a lot more reliably. And here I'm having a little snipe off with another sniper. I'm not sure if he knows where I'm at or not. He was looking at me, so... There he is right there. Now, for spots that don't have AA guns and tow missiles, it gets a lot harder to snipe because you're not sure of the range. So it's just looking like kind of a crapshoot. Usually a vehicle will help you out too. If they're camping in a vehicle in the spot where there's no uh, AA guns or tow missiles, just use the vehicle to uh, range yourself in. And now you can see how high I'm aiming above my crosshair to snipe these people. And no, you're not going to hit every single shot unless you already know the range at which you're shooting. See, this guy's thinking about getting on that AA gun and he... It's another sniper. And he hides. Now you want to always be aware of what 
points your team holds. And since I'm playing the the sniper class at the moment, not I'm not playing too much of a recon. You definitely want to uh, be aware of where you're heading. If you're playing recon, you always want to hit the Q button before you snipe somebody. Especially, especially if you put uh, points into advanced reconnaissance. That way you can reveal uh, other, other uh, enemies that may be about to your uh, teammates. Plus you get 10 points for every enemy spot that gets killed. And 10 points is better than no points. Especially if you get like a string of people killed and it just all adds up. I think I had, uh, at one time I had 90 points just from, uh, spotting. I got lucky and, uh, spotted a bunch of guys and, uh, a heli swooped in and killed all of them. But yeah, when, when they capture a point you have nowhere left to snipe from. No targets left to snipe, so you generally want to shift forward get into a better position where you know they're going to be coming out of. So we're moving up. I think I'm, I think I go to the crane. Which the crane is a difficult spot to snipe from for a, a novice sniper. And you also want to have a nice secondary weapon that you can uh, defend yourself with. If you have a bolt action rifle and that's the only thing you're walking around with and you run up on a guy who has an assault rifle or you're screwed you might get one lucky shot off then uh yeah you're pretty much dead unless you get a headshot happens sometimes but I wouldn't do, I hope to do it reliably but yeah definitely have a good pistol or a secondary shotgun or uh in my case I have the SVUA which is an automatic uh, rifle which is kind of like an assault rifle with a scope on it. It doesn't hold too many rounds though so want to be careful. Now again I didn't have too many claymores to set up there since my claymores are still over there back at the uh, now, sniping into their main base here is very difficult. I believe it takes me a, quite a few shots to get sighted in. Yeah, there we go. Now you'll notice too, when you snipe people off AA guns, you do not get ranged kills. You don't get range, point, range bonus for it. Obviously, because it's not very, very challenging to snipe people off of a stationary weapons platform. They want you to work for that uh, range bonus. Now, sniper by the end of the match should like not even have gotten killed once if he's good. And on tier 3 they're going to be adding just a little, a little bit more. Now sniping off the top of the crane is kind of weird because uh, you're so elevated. It's I don't, I don't do a lot of sniping off top of the crane. It's not my favorite spot, but they was capped out to back to their main base so I had to come up here and kind of annoy them. Now another thing a sniper wants to do is definitely keep people off the AA guns and off the tow missiles. That will really really help your uh, uh, pilot teammates out. Yeah, this guy sees me. 
actually does hit me a, a few times, I believe. I think he actually does end up killing me. Which is pretty good for an assault rifle, but you know assault rifles, they don't have to worry about bullet drop and bullet speed, so... <laughs> if they see you and they shoot you, they can hit you. Yeah, right there. There's some bullet lead. You have to... He was walking downward, so I actually had to aim below him to hit him. And start to take... I actually have no idea how I hit that guy. When I shot that, I was a complete surprise to me. But, uh... Yeah. You also have to uh, figure in bullet, bullet speed for uh, sniper rifles on distances. I think of like 150 and more. Especially with the M95. No, I think the bullet drop is different for every rifle. I guess it depends on what the range is. And the range for the M95 is 100, so... Yeah, with the SV-98 and the other guns, it's going to be different. I actually noticed that the bullet drop on uh, the SVUA is actually less than the bullet drop on the M95. At least that I've noticed, anyway. Yeah, and that guy's back. And he's absolutely determined to kill me. Now, for bullet speed, there's no real guide that I can give you to, to, to help you with that. It's your best guess, guesstimate. Uh, but an easy way to practice for it is to shoot at vehicles on the move. And shoot ahead of them. You kind of have to determine, determine which way they're going to go. Which is, you know easy for a vehicle since a vehicle can't suddenly change direction. With with uh, uh, infantry though, it's a little more difficult to predict which way they're going to go. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, uh, now to quickly pop a shot like that, it's also a little bit difficult. And we're getting close here to the end. Like I said, just remember to aim above for distances higher than 150. Always, always set up a perimeter so you don't get killed. Yeah, he's gonna get me here in a minute. Always practice on AA guns for long distances. Always remember to get bullet lead when you're farther away. Just practice, practice, practice from a safe position and always spot things for your teammates. Always keep people off the A-guns. And you'll do uh, just fine as a sniper. And I died again. Yeah, well, thanks for watching.